Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, we're going to start our ongoing meditation session now. Keep your back straight, make it straight in one line and your right palm on your left. So gently close your eyes and focus your mind to this bell sound place. And while you're focusing to the sound mentally, relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathings with your thoughts. Do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मा संबुद्धस् होमेज टू द blessed one the exalted one the fully enlightened one so bring your attention to your body please and observe head to toes three times yourself and say so patveva o may i be well and happy Take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved to wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting. May my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. may all the success come to me also think for a moment this is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime and detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts just try to remain in the present moment observing the sensation of your inhalations and exhalations So in the beginning, we're going to relax our body step by step, and following my words, mentally relax your body, please. Relax your head. Relax your forehead. Relax your eyebrows. relax your eyes relax your ears relax your nose relax your upper lip relax your lower lip relax your chin relax your whole face muscles relax your teeth relax your tongue relax your mouth relax your throat relax your neck 
Relax your shoulders, arms, elbow, forearms, palms, fingers, fingertips. Relax your back muscles and relax your spine. Relax your chest and relax your abdominal muscles. Relax your lungs. Relax your heart. Relax your liver. Relax your kidneys. Relax your gallbladder. Relax your pancreas. Relax your small intestine. Relax your large intestine. Relax your abdominal organs. Relax your bottom. Relax your thigh. Relax your knee. Relax your calf muscles. Relax your foot and relax your toes. Relax your whole body muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone, bone marrows, and whole skeleton. Release the tension in your mind and keep relax your face muscles. So bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Deeply and gently breathing, breathe out three times, please. So now allow your inhalations, exhalations happen itself. And when it happens, through the sensation of it, just recognize this is inhalation as this is exhalation. Do nothing extra. Just allow your inhalations, exhalations happen naturally itself. So don't have any effort to inhale or exhale.
If your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again. Just settle down with the sensation, please. Don't look for anything else. Just be very limited and available only for the sensation of inhalation and exhalation. Time to time, watch yourself and see in your mind, is there any mental desire more than seeing the sensation of inhalation, exhalation? If so, just get out of it. Be, be satisfied with the sensation of the inhalation, exhalation. Don't look for anything else. Bring a little bit more attention and just observe the entire continuation of the inhalations and exhalations. Knowingly, this is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end of the inhalations and exhalations. Follow the entire continuation of the inhalation, exhalation. But remember, allow it to happen naturally itself. Your body is a part of nature. Just allow it to settle down with the heat, motion, liquidity and hardness its own way, not the way you want. So completely get out of your authority 
regarding your body. Each and every inhalation and exhalation has its own character. It's unique. Sometimes it may become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. Just recognize it. See how calming down your body inhalation happens. Calming down your body exhalations happens. It is not what you're doing. It happens itself. See how calming down your mind inhalation happens, calming down your mind exhalation happens. Observe how your mind, body, breathing change moment by moment. Arising, existing, disappearing itself. Whatever sound come to you, whatever feelings arise in you, whatever thoughts come to you, but everything has its own way. Don't hold it to anything, just observe. And even see how the observer also change moment by moment.
it is possible, keep unmovable posture. Just simply be with the change. Bring your attention to your body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light. Through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. And also as far as you can, through galaxies, other planets, stars, reminding yourself like this, With clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are pray low, strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. 
forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light, please. To your backside. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward. And upward. All six directions at once. Like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Say sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So dear Dhamma practitioners, sometimes you may heard, you know, long, long time ago, million years ago, sometimes in this earth, there were huge animals like dinosaurs. But still, by the time what happened, they disappeared from this earth. So that is a good lesson for us also to understand by the time we also going to disappear. But that disappearance itself not going to be your end. You will disappear and then somewhere you going to appear. So this disappearance and appearance, disappearance and appearance is a journey itself we call our sansara. So then you have to remember today, even though you are experienced this human life, if you have a bird eye view regarding your own sansara, you may have seen how many times you were in the heaven and maybe you used to live in the hell many times. And even you have to remember, when you see any animals around you, it may be your relatives. Because in your sansara, you came through this old 
the living forms. There is nothing you miss. You already came through this everything. And then you should not only love for your pets like a dog or the cat. You have to remember, have a compassion in your heart regarding all the living beings. Why? Because sometimes in this samsaric journey, you had a deeper relationship with them. Maybe when there is uh, any animal come to in front of you, maybe that animal became your husband or wife or child or your parents somewhere in the samsaric journey, maybe brother or sister. So even though this animal is uh, like uh, that in a innocent living form today, because they cannot decide anything themselves, they are more live with the fear and you are a human being. And at the same time, remember in the future, if you not become wise today in the future, you also going to become like that animal. So that is the danger of this sansara. So we have no idea in when we disappear from here. So how are we going to appear and from where are we going to appear in what form are we going to appear. So then it's better for you. It's become more safe for you. Don't hate for any animal. Remember that. And have the deeper compassion. And when you see any animal, not only the dog or the cat, have a wish in your heart, deeper in your heart with very clear wish, very, with very clear mind, have a wish. In this samsaric journey, may they come out of the suffering. Have that simple wish. So, it's like what you give, you receive. When, if you are able to do it that way for any animal, even that uh, when it comes to your, around you, whatever the people having difficulties, have, have a deeper wish in your heart. May they find the wisdom. May they know what is right and what is wrong. May they have the, the light in their heart. Why? Because people do a lot of things. They, they have the darkness in their heart. They cannot find the light. And a lot of people have the, the, the idea regarding wrong things and believing it is right. If you hate them, it doesn't mean that they can come out of that your hatred. If it is so, let's let's gather together and we'll hate to everyone. But it's not going to work. So that's why we we every day do this loving kindness. So then you have to remember, don't be very limited only for just for the meditation. In an each and every moment, in many difficulties come to you. If anybody giving you a hard time, remember this. It really work. If anybody seen unseen, you know, anyone giving you a hard time, have a, don't, don't hate them. If you hate them, it's kind of like a current. You're going to go with them. Because then, you, because you also then finally end up becoming like them. No, if, if anybody giving you hard time, have a wish in your heart. May they find the truth. May they find the, the light in their heart. May they come to the right path. May they come out of the, the difficulties that they struggle. And then when you do that way, what will happen? Your heart starts to become more stronger, more stronger, more stronger. 
you need that strength consciously you have to develop that strength why because tomorrow you don't know what go, what kind of people come to you 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 have no idea what kind of uh, you know friendship going to build around you and in what location with what kind of people you going to be so then maybe there are deep people come they give a hard time and uh, at the same time if you develop this strength anywhere from today in this sansara journey even you go to hell even you go to heaven even if you are in between this somewhere in the human plane or even animal plane in any existence remember it going to become a safeguard for you so don't miss that it will brings that the security to you until you attain to the nibbana and the other thing is don't afraid for this any people or any situation in your life learn to accept keep your heart open when you remember if you close your palm you are become very limited only this as example if you hold this and close your palm you will palm become very limited to only this pen but if you open your palm entire universe is you hold so like that in your heart if you hold only one one intention or one thing regarding the fear regarding hate anger you become very limited to that so keep the open heart get out of that uh, you know self centered ideas it's mostly the worst thing can happen is you know me centered world we have that always me me whatever the conversation deeper in your heart maybe you are you are so generous you know maybe you are so compassion maybe you are so wise you know but in in any any conversation not in the surface level outside world but in your deeper in your heart you always hold it to me 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 in this conversation where i am where i am me centered world so get out of that because there is nothing nothing belong to you we just part of this huge you know universe don't afraid for hard time don't afraid for people don't afraid for situations especially you know i i, I tell you a secret remember that the people who giving you hard time in they they are very weak inside you know there was a man he used to run every day young boy and now now he is uh, giving this uh, motivational speeches so he is uh, telling his story so he used to run in the evening and then in that neighborhood there was a bull dog you know and start to chase him he was so afraid for dogs and from far away this dog start to bark and then once he pass that house this dog start to come chasing and he used to run so fast this dog keep barking 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 and he was so afraid and one day what happened and he keep running and this dog the same time you know start to keep chasing him barking and when the dog come closer and he, he felt kind of like to slow down a little bit and he because he felt so you know tired about this dog and he little bit slow down and then the he he saw this dog doesn't have any teeth you know he just uh, having fun you know chasing this guy that's it 
once the once the this person recognized that the fear disappeared so remember oh the, most of the people around you keep gazing you know try it look like they're going to you know bite you but remember they don't have mostly teeth don't afraid for that so the fear is mostly you know it's it's mostly the we are the one who you know create that inside our mind so it is very important for you to to get that self understanding yourself knowingly once you decide yourself it cannot hold in you anymore so that that's why through this meditation we going to build up the most important part to get into that why the fear come why the unhappiness sadness worry come because we we don't see the reality as it is why because our mind is so busy we are so occupied with a lot of things so then slowly start to settle down with your own inhalation exhalation and you will know your body your breathe your mind listen only to the inhalation exhalation once the inhalation exhalation disappear you are no longer available in this world you going to end this or oh, everything but sometimes we don't see this we are so busy with outside things so that's why whenever you have opportunity observe how your body mind breathing have this communication just keep observe and they then deeply you will recognize in a, in a certain level listen this very carefully in a certain level in your mind you no need anything from this world but when you open your eyes when you open your ears with the desire when you open your nose with the desire when you open your tongue with the desire when you open your body with the desire when you open your mind with, with the desire this even this universe is not enough for you but when you deeply settle recognize and settle down and you will see the deeper comfort the satisfaction that you gain just observing itself with your mind and the body finding the satisfaction and it is more strong and higher than this conventional satisfaction that is where we keep going it's kind of like uh, the bird get into the wind you feel so comfortable the roots of the tree finding the soil it it feel so comfortable you you don't you don't look for anything in day to day life in conventional life look we always deeper in our mind for all six directions with our all these six faculties we manifesting life looking for something looking for something so that itself make you you know burn inside that is the heat that that we we develop inside us so once you settle down deeper in your mind getting out from this all the desires just with its own observation you become like a fish get into the water you kind of like a cloud caught up in the wind you are kind of like the the eye of a tornado in this entire world around you make a mess but in the middle of that tornado it's empty so like that in your mind 
you completely become neutral in this heavy moving world. So that is what called samadhi, tranquility state. So that is where we keep going. And once you reach to that, you know, that is the highest gain that you can have as a human being. And from there, the journey is going to be so different. So, but little by little, little by little, you need to reach to that level. Once you get into that samadhi from there, and you, you will start to understand this change. And once you know that, you become a person to accept anything. And once you come to that level, remember, the once you start to accept anything and just allowing the body to be a part of the nature, uh, allowing everything to become part of its own process and without disturbing, without getting into the middle of that process, once your mind starts to observe that, you're going to see beyond what you experience. So it, you cannot understand it before you reach to that level. It is just only practice point of view. Verbally, we can just tell there is something beyond your experience. That whatever beyond your experience is more higher than what you experience. It's like you are in the mother's womb. You are so safe, protective, and the, the mother nourish you to grow, but still, but still, you know, that is not the place for you. It is okay to grow, but that is not the place for you to think, okay, this is my place, I'm going to be here. No. By the time you need to come out. Once you come out, you know, even it is painful and it, once you come out, you open eyes and see things and you able to touch things. You start to walk and you start to, you know, talk. You start to experience life. And how about then, if somebody come and tell, hey, get ready, get ready, go back to go back to mother's womb. You want to, you, you know, you think, oh, because it is, was a so safe place for you and 24 seven security is there and the mother give all the nourishment to you. But if you, if you, if you, you know, have opportunity to go back to mother's womb, no one want to go. You know, everybody even from, uh, you know, late day by day, day by day, you know, everybody start to, you know, find their own way, even going away from the parents. So your liberation also the same. Remember, we are caught up with this eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind experience. And believing I experience it. It is just not only you, everybody experience it. It is a, just a part of nature. Seeing something, don't remember, don't think, oh, I, 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 I. No, it's a part of nature. That is what you need to understand. So then where we caught up, you know, we caught up that when something happened to us, we personally hold it. We personally hold it. And that is what the, the call life. So there is a, 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 a sutta called Pancha Raja Sutta. So the, this, is, this, is, this sutta come from the uh, Kosala Sangyukta in the Sangyukta Nikaya, Kosala Sangyukta in Tripitaka. The King Kosala, during Buddha's time, there was a king called Kosala. And he always come to 
the Buddha and us having con conversations. So there is a ch whole chapter called, you know, Kosala Sanyukta under this king name because there were a lot of sutras, there's con conversations. So there were five kings gathered one day and they had a discussion. See what during that time when the kings gathered, what they discussed. If that, you know, today how the, the you know, different, you know, countries, presidents, if they gathered, gathered what they discussed. See how different that time. So when the, in, in that gathering, in that summit, so one king told, out of this I ear, no stung body, mind, so I experience whatever that see through your eyes is the most powerful. And then another king told, no, more than the eye, the ear. So whatever we heard is more powerful. And then the, another person told, no, another king told, no. So whatever that the, come to our nose, nose experience is more powerful. And then, then another king told no. So whatever we experience with the tongue and uh, so this, that tongue consciousness or the taste is more powerful. And then another king told no. So whatever we experience with the the body sensation that is more strong than any other thing. So they had a kind of like a conversation. It's a kind of like a level of argument, but sharing and each other try to prove and whatever the, the idea they hold, that is the most correct idea. And then they couldn't come to a solution. So what they told, they told, they told, okay, let's go to Buddha and we can get a right answer. So then they went to the Buddha and asked Venerable Sir, this is the conversation we had. This is the problem, the question we have. What is the question? Whatever that we see is more powerful than any other things. Whatever we hear is more powerful than any so like that. So then the Buddha said, it is not like that. Some people may see something and another person not going to become so happy with the same object. And another person may be hear something and become so happy about it. And then another different person hearing the same word may not going to become happy about it. So the nose the same, for the tongue also the same, whatever may be, it is so tasteful for one person and for another person, it's not going to become that much happy experience. And for the body also, maybe you are associating one person and you feel so good with that person, but the same person, if another person come and associate, that person don't feel that. Say sometimes you, you may see regarding your friends and uh, other people, maybe regarding your husband or wife, when we associate people, that Sometimes we say, oh, that person have good chemistry. And then another person say, that person don't have good chemistry. I don't like that person. So that's, that is what he has mentioned. So then when the Buddha said again, some people even like the Buddha and you like you people come and listen to the Buddha and another person can hate the Buddha. And some people like to hear the Dhamma and even some people don't like to hear the Dhamma. And some people like to see monks and even some people don't like to see monks. 
And even some people like to become a monk or nun, but some people don't like to become a monk or nun. So that means person to person, person to person, they are, whatever they like, it's going to become different. So then the very first thing that you have to remember. So from today, never have arguments regarding with your husband, wife, friends, family, with other, with other people regarding anything what you like or what you dislike. It may going to become good for you, but for another person, it's not going to become good. So it may not going to be that much pleasant experience for you, but for another person, it's going to become a very pleasant experience. So then yourself, you have to remember this dharma, that whatever that you experience, not going to be the same for another person. That's why this world is different. So then it is not a reason for you to be happy or be sad when another person become happy or like or dislike. Just you have to remember that is the very nature of the mind. And then Buddha more explain regarding so whatever you like and whatever you don't like, it's it not because what you experience. It's because you personally develop the, the desire which we call Chandaraga, the desire to hold it to it. At it that is mostly related with your past experience. Look ourselves. And today, whatever you like or dislike, if you look backward, if you reverse yourself and see, so whatever the, the past experience became a very reason for you today to become like this. If your past were not like this, not like that, maybe you are a totally different person today. So then you have to remember whatever you experience with today with your eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind, you are mostly experience it with your past experience. As a result of that, whatever you like or dislike going to become different from you to another person. Why? Because that person also have a different way. You came in a different way, another person come in a different way. So because of that, we depending from the Chandaraga or we depending from our volitional formations, we depending from our past, the moment of experience is different. In the very present moment, whatever you see or whatever you hear, smell, taste or feel, it, it is nothing to do with your like or dislike. It is just an experience. But whatever the like, dislike come according to your past, when you, when you put the your past experience. So like you, each and everybody do the same thing. And because of that, it's going to become different person to person, person to person, person to person. So there is a, there's a, ex, another example for this. There was a person, the two friends and one friend used to enjoy salt, salt. Every day he tasting salt, he like it. And another person 
used to enjoy sugar so one day the the guy who enjoying salt invited for this uh, his friend who enjoying sugar and then gave salt because that is what he enjoy uh, then the the guy experienced the salt and told oh it is very different it's not like sugar because i used to enjoy the sugar all the time and then after that he had the good time and he had the new experience and now he know what is salt so he went back and before he went back he remember to invite for his friend who enjoy salt by the way whenever you have opportunity please visit me i would like to give a new experience with whatever i have so then the the salt guy accepted it and then the day came and before he go to the sugar guy the salt guy thought maybe it not going to be like this comfortable like what i enjoy with the salt because it going to be a new experience maybe it can be very unpleasant so it's better i keep some salt in my mouth why because then anyway whatever that experience it's okay i am so comfortable with it so what the guy did he put some salt and then went and they had a gun so the guy offered the sugar and he took it and enjoy he didn't feel that much deeper so then he had the conversation and came back so we the same with your habits and every day you are kind of like the guy visiting this sugar guy holding the salt in your tongue when you see your husband when you see your wife when you see your children when you see your parents when you see your brother sisters there is something you hold in your mind regarding that person identity character behavior with that when you see the person you're not going to really see who 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 is the person in front of you so this is the the same thing and it happened through the sansara and with our eye ear nose tongue body mind with this all and whatever you experience you not really experience the world as it is you experiencing what you hold in your mind it has a huge history it's so powerful sati means awareness means mindfulness means you break down you throw that all the the collective memory you come to a empty moment and experience it it is a challenge it is a challenge for you it the same challenge like you visiting a new restaurant or you visiting a new place you you visiting a new people it's a challenge some people cannot do that that's why you go to the same place go after even this pandemic you know now little by little restaurant open and things so you go wherever that uh, around you place that uh, close by your city you go and see the same people before the pandemic they used to come 
and now they start to come to the same place what they bring there after this pandemic you know they come to the same place and even they look for their same table they look for the, their same coffee shop and if the, it is closed if it is permanently closed they get panic they hate for the government you know they hate for the the virus you know they hate for the economy why not because of they lose the co coffee because there are a lot of lot of coffee places even at home you can make coffee it's nothing to do with coffee because what the salt they hold in their tongue keep doing this so then remember wash your mouth don't afraid to experience the sugar more than in the sansaric journey what you experience remember that what you see tomorrow with your eye ear nose tongue body is so beautiful why because maybe as a human being this is the first time that you became a human or maybe after long long journey this is the first time that you see it in your life see that beauty don't see that all the memory that you carried inside you it doesn't matter whatever the hard time other people gave to you and look that person as a new person tomorrow when you wake up completely get out of that mental picture and see as a new person you going to see something if doesn't work do it tomorrow it doesn't work do it day after tomorrow if doesn't work do it until you die when you born next time you will see that person as angel that person completely change why because once you change what happened the way you see once you decide to change the way you look you know what happened this entire universe will start to rearrange it will rearrange that is how it is so then you are the one who have power to change around you don't wait till that other people change don't till wait till that other situation change and they holding everything in your mind you wishing that everything to change it doesn't work even that everything change you don't even see that change so then you are the one who can give a opportunity for everything so that is your best opportunity take it how wash your mouth get out of this hiding hold salt that you carry in your tongue and don't afraid to experience the sugar don't afraid to experience what you see hear smell taste and the people or the mind that whatever you it come to you tomorrow it going to be really beautiful and it come in a new form it going to be more successful than in this entire sansari journey so if you willing to take that opportunity as a new fresh moment remember your liberation your transformation start in that very moment why any more whatever you carried in you it not going to go with you you know most the difficult part in life most difficult very difficult part why the buddhas come and preach this dharma you know, the most difficult part out of this practicing meditation and doing things and most difficult part is changing ourselves not about other things changing ours no science no technology you know the no mantra can do that but if you take a conscious decision you are the one who can do that when the day come for you to take that conscious decision once you initiate yourself to become a new person that is the day you going to experience your liberation transformation and by the 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 
end of the journey, you may experience the ultimate bliss of Nibbana. So with that, I bless upon everyone. With this good practice, may all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbit yo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavatantara yo suti diga yuko bhava. Ittavata cha ammi sampadantu niya sampadang. Sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numodantu. Sabba sampati siddhya sabbe satta numodantu. Sabba sampati siddhya idami punya kamanga savakaya vahan hotu. Sabba dukkha pamunchatu. Bless you.